Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Fonte Cobre, on our video, and this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing iPhone 6s on iOS 3.2 to an iPhone 6s on iOS 12 beta 9, public beta 7. And guys, I want to apologize for not posting much with that previous beta because I was in Croatia for the last five days, um, and I didn't really have internet or the phones with me. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring both devices here. Like always on the left, iOS 12, this time beta 9, developer beta 7, uh, on, the, on the right here, 10.3.2, since uh, it can't read really update to 10.3.3, sorry guys, on this phone, because it's impossible. So wow, actually 10.3.3 was actually faster, point two, sorry, iOS 10. Uh, usually iOS 12 beta will, you boots up faster in iOS 10, but this time actually it's different, so I don't know why. So guys, both phones are set to maximum brightness here, and they're on airplane mode, and uh, as you can see, Wi-Fi is on, just gonna put them, do not disturb, and I'm gonna start a test. As you can see, nothing here, so calendar, identical actually, photos, about the same, camera, okay, definitely faster than iOS 10, maps, I think it's about the same, usually Usually, iOS 12 is faster, I don't know what's happening here. Weather app, that was okay faster on iOS 12. I'm gonna go for App Store. Okay, that was faster on iOS 12. iTunes Store. And that was pretty much identical, guys, going for phone dialer. Okay, that was faster on iOS 12. Leaving was even faster on iOS 12, Safari. You can just hit Apple logo. And that was faster than iOS 12. So loading internet stuff is faster than iOS 12. Going for settings. Just gonna go some sub menus here, general, leaving. Gonna change the wallpaper. Okay, so it was faster than iOS 10. Now guys, to avoid complications, just gonna go back to the previous. Can just change this one to iOS 12 stuff. Going for some third-party apps now, so it's jumping to Instagram. Okay, loading the latest content was faster here, minus 10. Going for into the benchmark. That was exactly the same. Facebook, definitely faster, minus 10. And now, guys, going for WhatsApp. Faster, minus 10. Again, Google Earth iOS 12, Jetpack Joyride. So usually iOS 12 is actually always outshining iOS 10 on iPhone 6S, but nope, not anymore, sadly. And guys, we're approaching the latest, uh, the official release actually, and I'm kind of scared here, so Yelp. Okay, that was faster than iOS 12, leaving. Okay, I'm going for Snapchat. Animations are kind of subtle here, but Snapchat, Snapchat is actually faster than iOS 12. So going for Temperant 2. So yeah, iOS 12 has faster animations, that's for sure, but when it comes to loading and efficiency, I think iOS 10 is faster. It is and definitely Temperant was faster here on iOS 10. So now we're just going for Mario Run. Okay, Super Mario appeared first on iOS 10. And actually, it was faster. Leaving, going for Subway Surfers. Just, as I said, animations are faster on iOS 12, but that's it. Loading board appeared first on iOS 12, and iOS 10, sorry, and actually loaded faster. Leaving, going for Geekbench 4. Okay, that was faster on iOS 12. Now, guys, we're going from one final app, eBay. Or actually, I'm going to go for YouTube afterwards, so sorry. <laughs> And that was faster than 12. And now, guys, going for YouTube, and that's about it. So, YouTube, both are super fast, and was faster than 12. Good stuff. Now, guys, for summary and management, starting up the calendar. Okay, I refresh. 12 photos. I refresh again. Camera. Okay, that was good. Maps. I refresh nice 12. Clock. I refresh nice 12 again. Weather app. I refresh nice 12. App Store, I refresh nice 12 again. iTunes, phone dialer, I refresh. Safari, I refresh. Settings, Instagram, I refresh. Wow. I think both, both have to refresh actually. Facebook, okay, finally. WhatsApp, Google Earth, Jetpack Joyride, Yelp, 
Snapchat, Temperan 2, Mario Run, Subway Surfers, Geekbench 4, YouTube. So guys, terrible RAM management noise, 12.9, only kept like the last couple of third-party apps and that's it. Or let's say all third-party apps, but otherwise everything was refreshed, except for settings. Now guys, for a Geekbench 4 test. Alright guys, both phones are done here. Like always, iOS 12 gets better score, both single and multi-core scores. But let's just check some previous scores here. So multi-core score did increase, single didn't, dropped. Yeah, but it's about the same, though yeah, it's still better than iOS 10. I wanna say guys, that throughout the test, both phones lose the same amount of battery. So this started at 83%, this started at 85, and both lost 8%. So maybe Apple now is trying to prove battery life and not performance for now for these betas. So I really appreciate if they're doing that. That would be actually good because I'll also care about battery life. So that's really good if they're actually focusing on it. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the comparison. I wanna say that guys, uh, sometimes uh, iOS 7.3.2 was better with the speed guys, speed wise guys, CPU, sometimes uh, the other one is 12 pin and nine, but in general, yeah, the performance on the new beta was worse than the previous one, but battery life is actually doing good guys. There's so, I think Apple's focusing on the battery life for now on this beta. That's really appreciated. I really love that. And RAM management is not that good at all. RAM management is really bad. So the CPU is average, it's decent, it's still fast. I mean, iPhone 6s has no problems, but battery is getting better. So it's definitely better than the one we had on iOS 11. So I really appreciate that. I hope Apple will just focus on battery, RAM, and everything before the release in three weeks. So if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content and peace out.